Hey, Shalom, Makim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. Uh, blessings and salutations to the hopeful like noise in this gospel, bro. Lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. It's the Akiya Mahalaya coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will it be edifying. As you know, GMS KC Ba or KC Prophets Ba is, is terminated. <laughs> uh, I got somebody got in their feelings about the video I did yesterday and labeled it hate speech when I got on the woman about being catcalled because of the attire she was wearing. Well, if you ask me and any other person that thinks from a logical, logistical standpoint, that was more of a, you know, a punishment out of love because ultimately we want our women to do better but you see Esau he don't want our women to be modest he don't want them to be immodest or clothing he don't want them to be modest towards their husbands he wants them to be out here so it can fulfill the lust of his unlawful society so that's the reason why the truth is the new hate speech okay the truth is the new hate speech so it says this video is no longer available because YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated it doesn't surprise me but what's so funny is because i went up for an appeal and i want to say not even an hour or about an hour afterwards they got back to me said no nah, we're gonna uh keep your page terminated um you know we just gonna keep it terminated and they didn't even go through the reason why and to be honest with you i didn't even supposed to have any strikes on this page because i remember they gave me one back in march i think that was set to expire next week so i think what they did was hurry up and accelerate it because i got an email around two weeks ago two weeks ago stating that one of the strikes they gave me was a mistake and they retracted on it so they took off a strike so technically my page was only supposed to have one strike to this day with another one falling off next week which would have left my page with no strikes because i haven't been getting flagged like that you know the videos it ain't really been you know offensive so to speak so what he did was he retracted on a strike that he took off and gave it back to me and made this a third strike, which shows you through unrighteous dealings. That's what this devil does. Okay, that's unrighteous dealings right there because how the hell are you gonna send me an email? And then he took the email back because what you don't understand, these people at Google and uh, YouTube, they're affiliated with one another, you know? And Google is attached to YouTube. So what happens is they can go on your email and they can remotely delete shit because I promise you, I received the email, and I think I made mention of it in a video a few weeks ago. I received the email from YouTube saying, well, look, uh, you know, we made a mistake. Uh, your video did not violate our content. And the crazy part about this, I got that strike back in like December or January. No matter of fact, no, Slock, I got that strike back in March, and I contested it, and they just sent me an a, 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 a email back in May, the end of May, saying, well, we're going to, you know, put the strike off we're gonna put your video back up and when i went in my email to look at it because i'm like wait a minute how the hell they just take my page and i even have a third strike and i went back in my email i couldn't find a fucking email so i'm like yeah they esau's on some bitch shit but this ain't the first page they did that i remember gms kansas city i believe two or three or one of my sit downs because i had about 20 pages every time the page started to do number that's when he feels some type of way you know I'm, my pages are never able to get a little bit over a thousand subscribers because every time I get that high, I always got these little minions, these little creeps that sit behind a fucking comment board and be hating, you know, they don't want this word in Kansas City going forth. That's why I know the Lord's gonna destroy the majority of this population here. But anyway, they took the page without even a strike. I think it was GMS Kansas City too. They said, well, we're just gonna take the page. And I ain't had no goddamn strikes on it, man. So I'm like, how the hell he gonna do some madness like that? But He's the devil. That's why he can do it. So this proves that we are almost in a famine of the word and that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is getting ready to make his combat. Okay? Uh, let me find that precept here. This is the book of 2nd Edges 5, and I'm going to start at verses 9. It says, And salt water should be found in the sweet. Salt water is bitter. It says, And all friends should destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself. Wit is wisdom. Okay? Information. This, this information is knowledge. This understanding, that's wit, because the days that's coming forth, hey, this knowledge is going to be very scarce. 
okay? Because the Most High said that uh, they should go to and fro seeking the word of the Lord, but they should not find it. And it says, in which shall hide itself and understand he shall withdraw itself into the secret chamber, okay? That secret chamber uh, uh, is symbolic of, of, of the men of the Lord that's with this, with this knowledge because the, the knowledge is going to be with the prophets, but as he told Ezekiel, he said he was going to literally have our tongue to cling to our mouth, which is symbolic as to not speaking his word because once these laws and these draconian measures go even further, we're not going to be out here speaking on the streets because ultimately it's going to be a violation of law because a martial law and a, a, a speaking out against this, this system is going to be illegal in due time. This is the reason why they're flagging our videos left and right because this information. Going back to the time of, uh, was it, Claudius Caesar, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he banned all the Jews uh, out of the land at that time. I think it was in Rome. He kicked us out because, hey, we were doing the same thing we were doing today. They had Israelites posted up on the corners with garments teaching their people. They had camps back then, too, which shows you uh, nothing is new under the sun. Everything is reincarnated. So we was doing this back then. We're doing it today. Like how you got camps all over America, which is Rome. You had camps all over the Roman province at that time. You see what I'm saying? And hey, once Paul went to the Gentiles, that's when the camp starts to raise up, you know, which is, you know, very parallel to what Apostle Tahar did when he went on YouTube. And all of a sudden, all the camps start popping up because you always had Israelites, you know, like uh, before the apostles got on the YouTube, you had different camps out there, but they were mainly uh, in New York. And you had some, you know, in, I believe, Boston and Connecticut, but it didn't go as far as it did now because you know the world wasn't really global then that's why you can say that apostle tahar is really the apostle to the gentiles which is us okay because as he got on the youtube which he wasn't the first one on there but when he said you know we're gonna put our videos on youtube that's when his word took off man and hey if you look at what apostle paul did it's the same thing you know so you know but that just neither here nor there they're just a, a, a funny and a shocking parallel as to how everything is revamped back in his play like the lord said he was going to set up elders in every city well, that's why you got camp leaders in every major metropolis in chicago i mean in the united states from la chicago new york to texas to florida to kansas city you got elders in all these different provinces that's how you know that this truth is real man that's the spirit that's that's cool how the lord set this up man hey i'm just privileged i'm honored i'm wooed to be a part of it i pray that you how about shimmy how we shy uh keeps us you know Ah uh, man, I, that just made me smile for real because hey, we getting ready to get up out of here. But he says, it says here, and on one land also shall ask of another and say, Is righteousness that make it a man righteous going through thee? And he should say, No. Why? Because hey, the Lord is getting ready to seal the, the, the uh, elect, man. The elect is getting ready to be sealed if they're not sealed already. So now we're just going to be left the bottom feeders. Y'all going to be out here as reservoir dogs. You know, and it says, and at that same time, should men hope, but nothing should obtain. They should labor, but their way should not prosper. Right. Because you're going to be up and down seeking this truth. Because when a time to get it, you didn't get it. That's why the scriptures say, when I call, you did not answer. So if you don't get this word right now, prime example, you see this? This is going to be a normal thing among our pages to the point we're not even going to be able to. To, to, to even upload anymore because they got all our algorithms flagged anyway all our ip addresses are flagged this is why they always on these pages the way they are you know and that, that just clears day you know like i said i can only get so many subscribers and they shut me down you know because when i looked at the video last time i'm like wait how the hell did they take the page i'm like i ain't i got one strike but then i went back through the email they made it seem like oh this is your third strike that's bullshit because the mother strikes fell off and one was getting ready to fall off next week and he already retracted on one that he allegedly gave me out of order. So it's, it's, it's folly, man. You know, but that's Esau. Unrighteous. Uh, yo, unrighteous. Unrighteous, not unrighteous dealing. Unrighteous. Oops, unrighteous. <laughs> E O U S. It's lucky I'm driving. <sighs> uh, give me one second. I'm righteous, Dylan. Fuck, come on, man. It's lucky, brothers. Give me one second. 
But anyway, uh, I'm going to get that precept later. I'm going to read this one too. This is the book of Amos 8 and uh, verses 11. It says, Behold, the days come. It says, Yahweh Bashimi Havashai. It says, Yahweh Bashimi Havashai, that I was sent a famine in the land. Okay, it says, Not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Most High. This is technically happening now because technically. We don't have a famine of bread and water right now. I mean, that's on the way, but this word is going to uh, uh, be stopped first. Then the rest of the destruction is going to come because let's just say if the famine comes and the word is still on YouTube, well, people will understand what's going on. You see what I'm saying? They could just seek the prophets. They could seek the, the, the men of the Lord and be done with it. But now... Is to the point that the, it makes sense that the Lord would take us off the air. Oh, then, you know, these prophecies would start coming to pass. You know, it makes sense because that way people want to know what's going on. They ain't going to have no answers as we just read. The Lord is cold like that. But then again, he could have this go several ways too. It can go different ways. You know, it just depends on the Lord's, on, on what he wants to do through the spirit. Anyway, uh, reading on, and it says... Not a thirst of water, but hearing the words of Yahweh about Shemiah was shy, and they should wander from sea to sea, and uh, and from the north even to the west, and should run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and should not find it. Right, because this this word is getting ready to be brought down; it's getting ready to be uh, dis, uh, disappeared. It says, and in that day should the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst, thirst of this water, thirst of this living water, this truth. It says, and they that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy power, O Dan, live it. And the man of Bersheba live it, even they should fall and never rise up again. Okay, point was in 11 and 12. All right, let me try to go back to the scripture. All right, just dealing. Yep, uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, it says, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, God by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Okay, this is unrighteous dealings, because how the hell are you going to redact on a strike and give it back after you even took it and said, oh, well, that was my bad. That's a damn double for you, you know. But anyway, with that, I'll moment, end it there, giving all praises and glory on the duty of Yahweh, Shimei, Yahweh, Shai, and with that, Shalom, and a bar, bar, bar.